part two of your commission. We're here in Sheffield. Tell us what this is about. The second part of the report looks particularly at coaching and it looks at facilities. And what we're really saying is grassroots facilities need revolutionising in this country and that's what we're trying to do. We want to start with a pilot here in Sheffield and what we do is we map a city. We look and we say, what does this city need in terms of football facilities? Can we build them in a series of hubs which include uh, artificial pitches as well as grass pitches? This will provide maybe 80 hours a week um, of playing time. A grass pitch, five hours if you're lucky. You know, you can play on these sort of surfaces all year round. You know, basically 24 hours a day um, if you wanted to, 365 days a year. It gives you know, so many more kids the opportunity to play football. But most importantly, with the report, you know, we want more coach educators. If we can do that, people can come here, local teams, local grassroots coaches can come and they can be supported. At the moment, you know, it's very much you pass your badge, you go away and you're left your own device. This will provide you a hub where you can come, you can get support, you can use it as a learning resource and then you take that back to your club. We set up the hubs, they're run by trusts, local authorities put some money in but they also give us their pitches, their facilities. Uh, we build decent facilities and then they're run by a local trust which includes the FA, it includes the professional football clubs, it includes the local authority, it includes other sort of community groups. I think up to the age of 16 all kids should play on 3G services. You know, they're brilliant. You know, this is not this is not AstroTurf of the past, you know, this is not, you know, just a little bit of carpet put on concrete. You know, these are quality services. You can play a passing game, you can do your skills, the pitches aren't muddy, you know, even when it rains, bizarrely, you don't seem to get as wet. You know, when you fall over, the kids don't get cold and muddy. You can coach the fundamental technical skills that kids need to improve our national game. The plan now is to do two more pilots, probably in Birmingham and Liverpool, and then we'd like to roll it out. If it works, roll it out across 30. 30 cities across England, so that you basically change, it's a sort of like revolutionary change in the provision of, for grassroots football. Coaching is the second big facet of your second part of the report. What, what's the change there? Well, the change is we're changing the structure of how we train coaches uh, at the FA. We're going to have a head of coach education, and we then want more and better qualified coaches. Uh, and we want to join them up in a way they've not been joined up. So if you qualify as a coach, you're part of the coaching system. There's a website, there's emails, there's the whole lot, there's Twitter, there's everything, which is about coaching. But in the end, we want more coaches, which means to start with, we want a head of coach education, and then we want more coach educators. Because in, in, they're the people, the people who train the trainers. They're the people we want to start with.